Today I'm going to show you how to cock like the pros. Now, don't start laughing and be all immature. No, I will. But anyway, I'm going to show you what the pros do when we get into cocking around baseboards and trim. Check this out. First things first, let's get started with how do you get the cocking in the gun. Well, it goes like that. It's pretty simple. But the real tip is, how do you cut it? Cutting the tip of the caulking is actually a very big thing. This is how we have a very successful bead going on the wall. If you cut it too big, it's sloppy. You cut it too small, you don't get enough out. So I'm going to show you where to do it. I say cut it on an angle, and I'll tell you why as soon as I make it. Right here you'll see about an eighth of an inch through the gun. Snip. You can see that the size of the hole is pretty small, but this is what you want because a lot of people end up pouring out way too much caulking onto the job. Now, next is the clean out. This gun, I have it on the side. It's just a matter of slipping it down the side. And once you're in, you're in. What kind of gun should you buy? Well, I like the dripless guns. The reason is, when you're squeezing the gun, the trigger locks, it stops, and as soon as I wipe this away, you'll notice that the caulking is not shooting out after it's done. These are the kind of guns you want to work with because they're going to save you a lot of lost caulking, and they're going to save you a lot of money because of all the lost caulking. All right, so where to start? So you recall me just talking about cutting it on an angle. The reason I like the angle is because when I pull it across the wall, with the elongated point coming out behind it, it actually smooths the bead down a little bit for you and pushes it down into the crevice. So with a light squeeze, You'll see, because of my elongated tip with that angle, it actually creates a nice, perfect, even bead all the way across without making a mess. But not all cases are perfect. Sometimes you get a wall that looks like this, with a huge indent. Question is, what do you do with that? Well, I'll show you a quick little trick. So with those big gaps, guess what? Toilet paper is your best friend, yes. It might be your cat's best friend, it might be your two-year-old's best friend, but today it's going to be your best friend. What you're going to do is you're going to take off an individual piece, and quite simply, we're just going to wedge it in there. You can use a putty knife or a flathead screwdriver. The key is, you're going to fill it so it sits at the top edge. The reason we do this is so that when we shoot the caulking on top of this bead, as long as that gap is going to be there, we want to make sure that the caulking doesn't run down the wall, and we don't want to waste a lot of caulking. So, Using the good old-fashioned toilet paper, we can backfill these crevices to stop the caulking from running anywhere. Cost-effective, cheap solution to making our walls look great. Now the key is we want to make sure that the toilet paper is well below the surface by like sixteenth to an eighth of an inch, so that when we come across with our caulking gun, the caulking will sit on top of it perfectly flush. It'll take one pass on the inside, and then another pass across the front lip. Then all that's left to do is take your finger across it. Just to recap, remember, dripless gun, cut your caulking on an angle, make sure it's a small hole, run it away from you, and when you run into those trouble areas, make sure you pull out your TP. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say.